Hello my little bonbons, welcome back or welcome to my small little channel. My name is Alice Sweet and you are watching Dollhouse 13. Just a fair warning before anything happens. We are talking about something more, something more serious. We are talking about something that has personally happened to myself. And personally I can't say to anybody else that I know, but I know other people around the world have, been, have dealt with this situation before. I'm not the only one, but I personally want to talk about my personal experience and how I dealt with it and how I should have dealt with it much better and that is more of abuse and if you are traumatized by abuse if you are more in a situation that you just feel uncomfortable by watching it I completely understand that's perfectly fine I'm sorry but um yeah so today we are talking about abuse uh more to the way of a mental abuse and I was in an abusive, uh, I can't say it was a relationship, it was an abusive situation where basically he tried to manipulate me to do, not to do multiple things, but to do things and just make me feel like shit and took down my mental health kind of situation and I should have known. He was a much older person, he was a more older situation, he was about, he was, let's just say he was much older than I was, he had two children, one was about 18, and one was, I have no clue, I do not care, he was divorced, and he said he liked me, and of course I'm a attention whore, so I, I thought, you know, maybe this can work out, maybe I can actually have a relationship with this person. And I should have known more when he was my sister's friend or colleague of my sister's. And no offense to my sister, she just has kind of a bad reputation of hanging out with not the cleanest people. And um, basically, he we started talking and everything like that. And he kept trying to flirt with me and I said, Ugh. So we kept talking and talking and talking and then we kind of became a thing if that's uh that's a word and we just kept talking and we were just flirting with one each other we saw each other once and twice and then it became more abusive kind of situation where i was i was had i had to be careful of what i said i had to be careful of what i did or he would block me and that is not personally okay with anybody if you just don't like what he said then deal with it but he would just block me and when I was trying to get to know him when I was trying to get to the progress of trying to be in a relationship with him he would just block me and it mentally tore me down it mentally broke me to the situation where I thought that everyone if they didn't care for me they they would just block me and it kind of was a situation and then there was a part where I just kind of gave up and this is when he stole money from me basically he said oh, I'll give you two hundred dollars and you give me a hundred dollars you can have a hundred dollars he put it in the check and he gave it to the TD machine and it worked and then it didn't work after that and basically I was kicked out of TD because he was he was fraud and I had to pay off the two hundred dollars which was kind of surprising and then stupid me I kept talking to him I kept talking I kept thinking it was okay I kept thinking it was fine and it was um, at the end of six, uh, 2016 where I began the progress of moving and I didn't really care about anything in Brampton. I didn't really need anything in Brampton. I just really just couldn't care for it. And he kept trying to talk to me. And then if I said anything bad or what he didn't like, he would block me. And it just became more a uh, hard time just to... When you were talking to someone, when you are in a situation, you should personally never just feel like you have to be careful talking to someone you should never feel like you have to think what would they want me to say what would make them happy what would that make me more progress to make them happy and I have to just say yes sir yes 
whatever you want kind of situation and that was very hard on me. And then this was a, it was kind of summertime when it became harder for me in 2016 because I was losing my friends because I was stupid and did a situation that I shouldn't end up and I was losing them and then he lied to me basically saying that he was in a mental hospital he was dealing with this and he was his he was talking to his sister I was talking to his sister and it just became words against me because if I said anything he would just use it against me he's like oh you just don't want to be with me anymore he's like that's not what he said you're just in my words I knew he was lying I knew he was manipulating me and I just don't know why I just wanted to try to try to be with him but didn't really want to be with him at this kind of time and it was very mentally trained and it was very mentally not worth it and there were situations where I was like oh I guess I'm leaving now see you blah 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 and he would leave for months end and then appear for like only a few days and it was a hard time because like I don't know why I stuck with him for so long and it was just a hard time for me and I just didn't really honestly care about him and then he tried to talk to me before and then I he said come live with me um, I'm like I can't I live in Newfoundland and he basically tried to make me decide to live with him or that it and I said you know what that is it I'm tired of this I'm tired of this situation I'm tired of you leaving every few months and coming back for two days and it was just too much tired some and too much work for just to talk to you for a few days and that's it so I blocked him and yeah it's much better for me I'm at peace and I don't if I ever saw him I probably wouldn't care for him um I just wanted to I wanted that chapter to end and it did end and I feel relief I feel more powerful than ever because in that kind of situation it was hard because he played me like a puppet and it was just really mentally draining and if you told him if you talked to him and you said well you did this and this and this wrong he wouldn't agree he wouldn't agree like oh I did not say I did not do abuse you I did not do this I did not try to do that and it just became it would be pointless of talking to him now and if he I really hope that also, one of the other things, he talked about screw, like ha having sex with other people in front of me and that kind of broke me down too because I'm still a virgin, I don't care for sex and he's just like, oh yeah, I had this sex, I had this sex, blah blah blah. It's like, congratulations, I don't care. And it was just horrible kind of situation to listen to that when you were in the progress of actually in a relationship. And yeah, um, moving on, I moved on with my life, I'm talking to my old friends and everything's becoming somewhat better. I still don't trust people because of that. And I still don't really trust people's words anymore because of that situation. Um, yeah, people are assholes. So that was my abusive, uh, abusive situation that I've done with for three years. It's over and done with. Thank God. And um, yeah, my name is Alice Sweet. And... I'm sorry. And that's another thing. I say sorry a lot because of that. I said sorry because I felt like I disappointed people and I didn't even do anything wrong. Um, yeah. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help a little bit. Bye. Bye.